shule sasa. Mm. Eh, unadhani kuna umuhimu wa wa wasanii kuwa wasomi? Um, eh, shule ni muhimu. Mimi imenisaidia sana. Imenisaidia sana sababu najua namna gani na weza kuzungumza nikikana mtu naweza ku present myself i can this is i need support pe nimesoma biashara uh, it's easy on my work kama kwa sababu nafanya vyote like i can market myself sometimes naenda na manager wako mnazungumza na wewe unaona kama you can speak up and then the, the anaona kama kuna kitu zaidi ambacho naweza anaweza kupata kupitia mimi kama artist at the same time artist ambaye anakuwa anaweza kuna brands za ama kampuni zinashindwa kutumia baadhi ya wasanii kwa sababu wanakuwa wana lack of education na vitu vya namna hiyo. Kwa hiyo kidogo inapata advantage hapo. But it's not necessarily uwe na elimu. Unaweza ukawa huna kama wengi ambao wapo lakini wakafanya vizuri at the same time wakawa uh, role models at the same times ni cha muhimu ni kujitambua kujua unataka nini uh, never settle unatakuwa uwe hungry at the same time uwe na right people so if you're not educated but you have the right people ambao wanaweza wakazungumza on your behalf hmm. yeah. uh, pale THT ulipita au hukupita ah nilipita naomba uniambie hiyo hadithi ya THT after sasa kumaliza shule FNI alikuwa ni msanii wa kujitegemea stuff zi yani akaona ni bora nijifunze sababu mimi kuna vitu vingi nilikuwa sijui so akaona ni bora nianze sasa kujifunza kuimba live bands and whatever kupitia THT so that's when I can introduce kwa Mariam Boss Ruge and that's when nikawa naenda pale kwa ajili ya kujifunza kufanya vitu kama performances ndio hivyo sasa ku blend ni kwa artist how I need to be an artist sasa so, ku combine vyote vile like talent and the looks and everything that's when vitu vingi nimejifunzia pale so nilipoanza kwenda THT ndo nikaanza sasa kwa maua huyu ambaye niko sasa hivi kulikuwa kuna competition sana pale sana i want you to be honest with me <laughs> sana competition nipo everyone wants to be better everyone ana taka kuwa bora zaidi kwa bosi ili bosi am um, upgrade yeah ila sisi wengine tulikuwa tunakuwa kama kuna take a flani na pigo na changa una eh huyo 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 mpaka unafika lakini all in all is that boss ruge naye alikuwa na part kubwa sana kwenye kazi yangu yani naye ana mchango mkubwa sana kwenye muziki wangu okay yeah unaweza kuniambia siku ya kwanza ulipokutana naye sasa ilikuwaaje alisema kazi ipo kwa sababu kwanza alikuwa naemba kiingereza na yeye he was against it ulienda alikuwa anasikiza muziki wao wako au alishasikiza muziki wako au ilikuwa inabidi umuimbie eh alinambia ni muimbie nikaanza kuimba kiingereza nini akasema kazi ipo then ulikuwa peke yako una miss ilikuwa na na sajo yeah kwa sababu kazi ipo ni sasa ndo akaanza sasa kuni fundisha kwamba utatakuwa uhame kwenye mziki huu uingie kwenye mziki wa biashara huku utasifiwa utaambia unajua la la lakini if you want to make money you need to do this kabla hujafika international utakuwa unaanza sasa local ili ukubalike yani utakuwa ukubalike kwenu kwanza kabla uja enda international sasa hapo hapo kwa kwenye ushindani kutoka kutoka THT okay kulikuwa kuna cash fa ya wa, wa, wasanii wa kike kulala na bosi ya yeah. Wewe ni moja kati ya majina ambayo yalikuwa yanatajwa. Kweli eh? Mhm. Oh wow. Yaani akija mtu mpya, huyu wa China na huyu wa zamani anapigwa chini, huyu ndo anakuwa upgraded. Sasa hizi ndio yuko na bosi. Kwa hiyo mnachukiana, mnaimbana, mnafanya na vitu vibaya. <laughs> eh. Si, kwa, kwa reaction yako inaonyesha kwamba hujawahi kusikia kitu kama hiko. Uh. But ni, ni kitu ambacho hujawahi kusikia kweli. Ano nimewahi kusikia kwamba hizo vitu vipo lakini sikuwahi ku witness kulikuwa kuna kuna ukweli wote ndani yake kama ushindani ulikuepo big time na akati tunaanza interview nilikwambia FA alinipa kitu kikubwa sana alinipa ability ya kumpigia mtu simu akapokea that's the most important thing ambayo mimi nilichukua from that time mm-hmm. unajua hakuna kitu kizuri duniani kama rasilimali ya watu yaani kisha kwa na watu unaishi vizuri na watu it's very important kama una safari ya kufika sehemu yeah sasa kuna wengine kile walikuwa wanapata favor zaidi kwa boss 
ambao sasa sisi wengine walikuwa natufanya tuone wivu tunaongea yani hata mimi mwenyewe pia ni one of them unakuta labda mtu amekuja jana amekuja juzi and then right now he, he, she's up there and is when automatically wewe lazima ikuingie uumie kwamba mimi nafanya nini hapa kila siku unajua zile mm. lakini ambacho mimi nashukuru nilikuwa kama na bahati kwamba nimefanya maabani uwe akati na sikiliza January Makamba alikuepo siku hiyo alipenda aka force um, sijawahi kuongea hiki kitu sehemu yote mheshimiwa January Makamba na babu Tale walikuepo waka force ile nyimbo ikatoka katoka na ika hit. At that time I started getting paid. Nimekaa kidogo, unashangaa, unalipwa, una, maisha yanaanza kusogea. Alafu boss Ruge alikuwa sio mtu wa kuchukua labda show za nini nini. Alikuwa akishaenda umeenda. Kwa hiyo imekaa nimetoa CCK imeenda tena. Umeelewa? Hivyo hivyo inafanya ina shows na fe, fiesta zikaanza kipindi kile. Sasa kipindi cha fiesta mimi nilikuwa sio msanii wa kuimba fiesta. Akati fiesta ya kwanza kabisa mimi kufanya. Sikuwa na paswa wa kuimba, lakini wasanii wa keki walikuwa wachache. Unaona ukiangalia huku, ukiangalia huku unakuta at that time hakuna wasanii wa keki. Kwa hiyo unakuta natakuwa sasa na mimi niende. Kwa hiyo unalipa hela, unaenda, unafanya unazunguka, kuja kusama okay, na need to move out of this place, una move. Mambo yanabadilika kidogo kidogo hivyo hivyo. Um nikawa napata push na namna hiyo nimekaa sasa naanza kuona okay kuna favors watu wanapewa mimi ni mgumu sana kuomba yani nilikuwa ngumu yani nilikuwa nashindwa kwenda sehemu kukaa chini kuomba unajua ile kwao naona kabisa okay kuna watu wanapewa favors zaidi na mimi nataka nifike kaniwe kama wao na sasa hapa pia kuna competition kuna hate kuna hypocrisy mtu anataka kurudisha nyuma anakufanya uonekane mbaya lakini uzuri marembo alikuwa anajua namna gani ya kuishi na sisi wote na tulikuwa tunapendana i'm just saying this na kwa sababu sio kwamba hakuna love ya moja kwa watu tunapendana tulikuwa tunashirikiana tunafanya kazi kwa pamoja lakini obviously kila sehemu ya watu wa kukusanyika wanafanya lengo moja wanafanya kitu ambacho kina lengo moja lazima kuna kwa kuna mvutano kwa hiyo mimi nikaja nikaona ah, okay kwani mimi nina nini nina mziki mzuri ambao ni tayari nimesha record nakosa nini nakosa video sisi tena kumwambia mama akope it's too much i can't mm. right after the same time siwezi uh, kuomba tht kwa sababu kuna everyone is asking for the same thing mm. afu pale sio lab watu wanajifunza tu wanaelewa kwamba hatukua kwamba ndo boss lazima atulipie video na vitu kama hivyo kwa hiyo tufanyeje okay nikasema tu ngoja nimpigie unscan nikampigia unscan siku moja ngamwambia unscan hii nataka unisign akacheka atakusaini vipi mimi yeye natafuta mtu wa kunisign nikamwambia sikia wewe si unafanya videos umenielewa mimi sina manager why why would you anyway uwe manager wangu fanyie mimi na nyimbo tayari nakuletea nyimbo nifanye video then tukipata hela that's how we tunaishi wewe i mean he he went alikubali the next uh, two weeks nikaanza kufanya kazi na scanner tukaanza kushoot videos and mimi ni kusabu ndo maana nakwambia education now to think of what i'm missing what solution haikuwa any solution not necessarily iwe ela ukiwa na watu ambao wanaweza kufanya vitu sometimes zinatokea vitu vyako vinaenda na ile wako ni kana unscana akawa anasaidia tuna shoot videos sometimes zinakuwa kwenye budget kubwa sometimes zinakuwa kwenye budget ndogo lakini mwisho siku tukipata ela tunakaa tunafikia hizi nafanyaje hai kama hii fanya hivi fanya hivi mpaka nilivyokuja sasa kujitegemea it was like that kwamba mara nyingi najikuta in that situation lakini unakuta okay sasa hivi ilitakiwa fiesta aende rubi lakini rubi amegombana kidogo na na mzee kwa tunafanyaje itabidi aende maua kwa hiyo maisha yangu yalikuwa like that mm. uh, uh, ajai kutongoza lakini ah no <laughs> okay na alikuwa akiwa na mtu mlikuwa mnajua kwamba saa hizi uko na fulani mm, tulikuwa tunaongea kusema kama mimi pia si unajua ule umbea nini mm. yeah. okay <laughs> eh katikati hapa kulikuwa kuna story yako na mzungu. Yuko wapi ile mzungu? Hata mimi si yuko. I don't know. Kwa hiyo kulikuwa kuna mzungu au kulikuwa na mzungu? Kulikuwa na mzungu. Nadhani. Kitu kama. It's hot. It's very hot. Ameenda biashara na yule jamaa pale. 
Um, Ali Kuepo, and then Corona happened. <laughs> Unfortunately. Akashindwa kurudi. The lockups and everything. Uh, lockdowns. Lockdowns. Yeah, because yeah, kasababisha the lack of communications. Kwa wenzetu ilikuwa more deep. Deni walikuwa na depression zaidi. Kuliko sisi sisi tulikuwa tunaweza ku move out, kufanya hiki, kufanya kitu, tulikuwa tuna travel. Kwa hawa rusiri hata kutoka nje. Sasa it was not easy on them. Maybe one of the reasons lakini the other reasons ni kwamba he wanted me to stop music. Wacha. Nikaishi naye. Unio wapi? Italy. Oh. <laughs> Francesca. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ikawa ngumu. Yeah, it, it, it was too much for me to give up on. Like and nikiangalia of course it's not easy. It's not always beautiful. Changamoto ni nyingi sana lakini ini I love this and I'm making my own money I don't want to go there and wait for food if you any wewe useme mimi sasa leo huli au leo nakula I don't wanna alikuwa tajiri he was yeah alikuwa tajiri mm. alikuwa anajua kipaji chako mm. alikuwa anakiheshimu mm. I no yani yeye kwa upande wake alikuwa haamini kwamba kazi ya usanii ina is like going gizaela to that much to that extent mm. na hakuwa anaona kama anataka kuja kuishi Afrika sasa kama tunatakuwa kutengeneza familia inatakuwa mimi sasa ndo niache whatever it is that I'm doing mm. nikaishi kule um tulikuwa tunavutana vutana and then it just ended like that hatukugombana hatukukaa tukatijui nini but it just ended like that okay Somebody told me you got married with him? No. Someone else? No, I've never got married. How you olewa? Sijawahi kuolewa. Sijaolewa. Okay. Yeah. Are you seeing anyone else? Yeah. To harm and to rudi kwenye hilo swali. Taudi kwenye hilo swali baadaye. Okay. Ni wimbo gani ambao unadhani uliuandika vizuri sana na pengine sisi kama mashabiki hatuku hatukupokea kama ambavyo ulikuwa unatarajia tutaupokea. Uzai ni wimbo ambao sikuwa nimeuamini na pia watu around me hawakuwa wameuamini. Especially bro, mm-hmm. FA. Alisema kabisa kwamba this is, is 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 this is an okay song. Nikaambia but I feel like inaweza ikaenda because it ina kama topic flani akasema uh, still I, I, I'm not getting it. Mm. Yani there's yani kuna ule uwewe na ukosa kwenye huu wimbo. Nikamwambia okay. Then kwa sababu alisema hivyo, nikaweka pembeni. Nikaangaika huko lakini still nikaa nimerudi pale pale. Then tukaamua tu okay, tutue nyimbo ya Zai na Away. Mm. Kiukweli kabisa mimi nilikuwa naona kabisa ule Away ndio wimbo ambao utaenda kuliko Zai. Lakini unfortunately away imeenda sana lakini zai ikalipuka to out of nowhere mm. and everyone zai 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 ambacho sikuwa nime ki expect and then use it uh, wimbo umefika number one on trending on youtube and everyone is talking about it kila mtu anasifia i got calls i got feedback kwamba watu wanaona kabisa kwamba nimewaimbia wao ule wimbo nikamtumia bro nikamwambia ha sasa vipi <laughs> nikajibu kwenye ile message yake kwamba alisema it's an okay song i don't i'm, I'm not getting it <laughs> <laughs> nikamjibu haya sasa tunaofanya haya akasema mwanzo sijioni au sasa that's it lakini uh, tunakuwa na expectations tofauti tunapata tofauti sometimes tunapata big expectations tunapata even bigger expectations mm-hmm. kama hiyo kote ni mambo ambayo mimi sikuwa nimeuamini sikujua kama utakuwa wimbo mkubwa kama ulivyokuwa lakini umekuwa. Mm. Kwa hiyo ni hiyo ni mashabiki sasa kuamua kwamba okay huyu tunaenda nao huyu tunaukaushia. Yeah. Yeah. Karibu chakula. Hawa ni rafiki zetu wa kukukuku kama nilivyokuambia. Hebu kunywa hata hiyo juice kidogo mbona hivyo? Ah, tatizo tunaongea sana. Aha, mm. inabidi ushushie. Kwa hiyo kuna mambo kama hayo ambayo inabidi udonyoe donyoe kabisa. Eh, mifupa utaekea humo kama ukisha ukisha na nisi. Unajua uwezi kula kula. Hapa nitakula kizungu. Nitakuwa tumalize interview. Nyosha mikono, osha yeah. mikono pale. Hii tunaosha tunakunywa. Hiyo <laughs> ni ya kuosha. V. Mm. Eh, nafikiri ilikuwa mwanzoni mwa mwaka huu sijui au mwishoni mwa mwaka jana. 
uh, Vanessa Mde ambaye ni moja kati ya wasanii mahodari sana ambao wameshae kutokea kwenye kwenye hii nchi na naamini ni rafiki yako pia e, ali alitangaza kwamba hata hata kuwa anafanya tena muziki yeah. kwa sababu ya mental health yake mm-hmm. yani kuna mambo mengi sana alipitia kiasi kwamba anaona kwamba it's not worth it mm-hmm. kama shabiki kwanza tuonge tuongele kama shabiki ile habari uliichukuliaje inumia sana kwa sababu napenda mziki wa vi and of course najua hasa zake tushaka sana tukaongea sana kuhusu his mental health na vitu ambavyo tunapitia changamoto and how hard it is unajua unaweza kufanya vitu vikubwa kwa ukubwa huo ambao unataka kufanya lakini usipate same expectations unaweza ka invest zaidi usipate return ile kwa hiyo kwa upande wa V mimi pia nimeshawahi kupitia hizi depressions giving ups vingi sana ambavyo uh, naweza nikawa namuelewa kuna vitu vingi sana mtu unaweza kuwa unapitia kwenye hii kazi ya mziki alafu <coughs> wengi wanaishia njiani wengi wanafanya vitu kama hivyo wanaingia kwenye drugs wanaingia kwenye vitu ambavyo vinawafanya wanapoteza kabisa directions mm. lakini kwa sometimes naona kama vi kuongea ile kama ile mhil and watu wakaanza kumuelewa in a different way sisi mashabiki tunaumia sababu tunataka mziki wake lakini kabla ya kama nini msanii mm-hmm. and sometimes i go through what she said siku zile uh, na muelewa and tuna miss of course gibi yake ipo watu wana yani watu wanamdai nyimbo hata mimi mwenyewe namdai nataka ni muziki bado upo na una nafasi kwake na tunaona kabisa kama there's a way anaweza akafanya sababu right now i think she's fine kila kazi ina 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 juu yake na chini yake yeah. lakini mtihani unakuja pale maisha yako eh, yanapokuwa yako mbele ya mamilioni ya watu mm. watu wanakuona kila siku na wanakuwa na wana expectations zao kwamba huyu maua huyu anatakiwa awe hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi, na, hivi. Yeah. na maua akiwa hivi kidogo maneno yanatokea yana, yana, yana mm. um, how hard is it kuishi kwenye expectations za watu it's very hard sababu there's no way not, not always unaweza ka meet the expectations za watu and so kila mtu unaweza kumbridisha unaweza ka watu watu yani wapo watu ambao wanaamini uh, mpaka sasa hivi mimi sijaweza kufanya wimbo kama yuko na pengine hiyo ndio inayoweza ikai na umiza zaidi kwamba sasa nafanyaje kwa sababu ile mimi i didn't ask for it the first thing first i i it got depression kwanza hiyo kipindi hicho sasa mimi napitia kwamba nitafanyaje nikitoa wimbo usipo usipo hit exactly the same way unafanya ni maki naacha au unafanya umeelewa kwa hiyo ilikuwa ni kitu ambacho mtu unafanya lakini ujui kwamba ile ilitokea i didn't ask for it and i didn't even know kwamba this is the song that kila mtu anayo hiyo kwamba this that song ambayo ina change everything mm-hmm. and then wengine unaenda una kufunga mneni alade anafanya vizuri ni msanii mkubwa lakini wimbo kama Johnny mm-hmm. ambao uli make yani kama revolution kwenye mziki wake mm-hmm. hali leo hajawahi ku, ku, ku meet that expectation tena lakini ameweza ku sustain umenyela it doesn't mean kwamba haiku affect huko nyuma lakini ukimwangalia ni example kubwa kwamba kumbe inawezekana kufanya nyimbo isifikie kule lakini bado ukaendelea kuwepo kuwepo kwa hiyo mimi ni, ni namna gani tu nilikuwa najaribu kuangalia ninaweza kujitun kiasi gani ili nisi nisi upotee kwa sababu kuna mtu mwingine unachangaa wetu wengi wanatoa nyimbo ina hit alafu anashindwa kabisa kwa hiyo kwa hiyo mimi nilijitahidi kadri ya uwezo wangu kuhakikisha na maintain and it wasn't easy kwa sababu hapa katikati pia unashangaa umepata hiki maana kuna kile and then unashindwa ku keep up lakini here i am just last week kuna mtu aliniambia sio mara ya kwanza by the way mm. haujawahi kufanya kipindi kama mkasi nasikia sana mm. umeona lakini mimi najua kwamba eh, kitabu kina kina kurasa mm, yeah. okay 
hatuwezi kusoma ukurasa mmoja kila exactly. siku. Mm. Tukisoma ukurasa mmoja kila siku kutakuwa hakuna story endelevu. Mm. E, huo ni ukurasa ambao nilikuwa nimefunga katika maisha yangu ambao kama ni timu basi niliichezea vizuri sana. Mm. Sawa eh? Saizi nimehamia timu nyingine Sheikh. Na huku pia mimi ni mchezaji mzuri sana. Exactly. Nyavu kila siku zinatikisika. Yeah. Comparison ipo Cristiano Ronaldo na Lionel Messi kila siku wanakuwa compared. Mm. Sisi ni about tunasema ah Messi kiboko, Messi yeah. ah Ronaldo kiboko. Ronaldo aki, aki, akifunga magoli 799, ah Ronaldo noma Messi yule yeah. f- tu Argentina hawajachukua. Yeah. Yaani hivyo. Mm. But kuna kitu kingine kikubwa ambacho eh, inabidi tukiangalie pia na inabidi unijibu hilo. Haudhani kwamba sisi tunawapa nafasi watu ya kusema vile ambavyo wanataka kusema as in karata zetu haziko karibu na kifua chetu especially maisha ya squeeze yani yeah. mtu anaona kabisa karata zako we are showing too much yeah. mpaka mtu anaona kwamba ni anakudai kwamba we mbona hujanionyesha staili yako mpya exactly. ya nywele exactly. you know mbona simjui bwanako mpya kwa sababu nyuma ulikuwa kila saa unaoonyesha yeah. don't you think we are giving them the reason to yeah. mimi sasa najiongelea kwamba naona kama ni tatizo kushow vitu ini, ni, ni, inatakiwa kibiashara hata niliona bro master j alishai kusema kwamba ili uuze lazima ufanye a little bit of makashkash hmm. right now hiyo hiyo ina mata sana kwenye kazi kwa hata ukifanya unatakiwa ufanye ina mimi kwa upande wangu nafanya lakini kwa hesabu kwamba najua kabisa okay kuna kesho siku nitashindwa kuposti nyumba because i can't afford it ita nitafanyaje itaniumiza umeona mm-hmm. siku nitashindwa sasa mimi napenda sana maisha ya, ya brave yeah, he's having a lot of money you don't know he's broke you don't know umeelewa mm-hmm. luckily he's always good mwenyezi Mungu amembariki mwenye na roho yake ni kama mfuko wake lakini he doesn't show you just see his good yupo na maisha yake na sasa hivi ana maisha even different than the way it was tunamuona yeah yupi msanii hodari wa kike kutoka kwetu naweza kaa kutoka kwa miaka ya nyuma mpaka hiki kizazi chenu akati naanza mziki nilikuwa namsikiza akati sijatoka kabisa nilikuwa namsikiza lady jd ac mm. na watu ambao nilikuwa na wasikiliza and then kipindi ni niko sasa nime toka nimeshakuwa msanii kuna nyimbo unasikia unapenda kwamba okay this is a nice song mm-hmm. ya msanii mwenzako ya kwa mfano mimi nakubali sana uh, Ruby anaimba vizuri sana uh, Grace Matata mm-hmm. sana she sings kwa huku sasa hivi kuna nyimbo tu unakuta moja moja ina unaipenda kwa mfano sasa hivi nasikiza na, na, na sana wimbo wa wana zuchu yeah i think zuchu anaandika vizuri yeah, so. yeah she's very talented na msikiliza pia wana 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 is one of my favorite yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, asante. Okay. Asante kwa kuangalia salama na maua. Sisi tunakushukuru sana wewe kwa hilo lolifanya. Endelea kutufuatilia kwenye Twitter, Instagram ama Facebook jina letu ni Yaston Town. Paka wakati mwingine. Take care. Vipo vya lawa masio shida. Vipo vya kupoteza sio muda. Wenuka. Na ukimbize ndoto. Ha ah, ah, ha. Ah. Kupati aina maana huko sei kiburi kinafanya tujongei tuna aka wapya kila day yeah 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 so ila kufika una why chosen na mfuta na i cry to keep and na mungu ana fry yeah yeah miki si hitaji ku complain si hitaji ku Ana plus is okay. Hey. Ana 